We've got a gentleman who's uh, coming into the uh, studio in just a few moments. Robert Hansen. He's a psychic medium. Now, we uh, found out about this uh, well, from watching uh, last night. And, of course, uh, Billy has been uh, read by Jonathan. Is it Edwards? John Edwards, yeah. Yeah. Billy's into it. I love this stuff. I see dead people. I, I find it so fascinating. Yeah. I got to tell you, Fezzi, I'm a little suspect of it all. Really? I just don't see how you're able to see and talk to dead people. Well, we'll try Robert Hansen out here. He's a psychic medium, and he's going to be appearing June 26th at the John Drew Theater at Guild Hall in East Hampton, New York. All right, is Robert coming in? Let's bring in Robert. Hi, Robert Hansen. How are you? And Robert's going to be able to read some of our callers if you have a... Someone that you'd like to talk to that's uh, passed on, 877-692-1027. Uh, Robert, how did you pick up your gift? You know, I didn't pick it up at all, to be honest with you. I, I, uh, about eight years ago, I would start standing there, friends of mine, people that I didn't know, and I'd start receiving images and information and sounds, and uh, one thing led to another, and I'd be saying to somebody, do you understand this person that was hit by a motorcycle, you know, up on the sidewalk, and they say, yeah, that's my cousin. Who's this guy, Al or Alan? And they said, my God, that's his name. One thing led to another, and mm -hmm. I started getting these affirmations one after the next, and uh, I thought I was losing it, to be honest with you. I really didn't know what it was. Now, what age were you at the time? Did this start well, to I'm in my early 50s now. I was about 42, I guess. About wow, 10. so that's kind of late in life to pick yeah, up. Yeah, a lot of people ask me that. You know, I've been, uh, since I'm a little guy, I've been involved with uh, martial arts all my life. I've, uh -huh. I teach and train in that, and I've been around meditation and spirituality pretty much all my life. But uh, never thinking along these lines, you know, I kind of... I get you in retrospect, it was kind of like preparing me, I guess. I was maybe either spiritually immature or something, I don't know. But something kind of popped about almost nine years ago now. And uh, I've been working it full-time ever since, and I do it professionally every day. So when you started getting these visions, right. they think you see it in your head. Well, we really get it three ways. When I say we, there are people in the field like myself. But when we receive our information, it comes in what we call clairvoyant pictures, meaning I get like flashcards in my head. Okay. And then we get a clairaudient reference, which means like sounds kind of go off. For example, uh, the sound of an automobile accident or a gunshot or something like that. And then we also get what we call a sentient feeling, meaning that I get a feeling that is very clear about the relationship between the people involved in, the, in either their death or the family members. Uh, for example, if there was an abusive situation or someone died at someone's wedding or something like that. And they all kind of come together at the same time and provide me a... Uh, Kind of a storyboard, so to speak, uh, of the relationship. Now, can you control it, or do you just walk into a room and pick something off, up off of somebody? I can't control it. I, if you're in the area, I will read you if it's intended for me to hear it. Mm. And, that, and that's a big word. If I'm supposed to hear it, I'll definitely hear it. All right, as you just uh, look around the room here, can you pick up anything from me or well, Fez? Or? Well, you know what it was? I, when I came in, when I first walked into the room, I... Um, there's a reference to someone that either lost a brother or had a brother feeling lost, and the person would either be like a brother or someone who had a younger brother feeling lost. So it's either a person who has like a cousin in the family or a relative in the family that had someone on a younger side that is crossed. And there's also a reference to someone that had a father pass when they were a younger guy. That I can definitely tell you. Someone, there's, a, there's a reference to a man that lost his father when he was a younger person. There would be nobody in the room here. It's definitely connected because they're telling me that someone lost their father when they were young or had a relationship with a brother feeling or a father feeling that crosses when they were younger or it was an unexpected loss. Mm. Definitely. And I, right. I, I believe it's... Not me. Would you know if it was Billy outside? Or the yes, uh, it's definitely Billy outside. Do you know if that's connected to him? Yeah, that, he, I know he lost his uh, father. Okay, because and it comes so in. so did Joe. Uh, uh, Pooh lost his dad at an early age, but Billy's the one that was actually uh, you know, lost at age 14. Yeah, try not to give me any information that, oh. you know, it's okay. Because I, this is going to sound odd, but when I walked into the, uh, I guess the green room, you'd call it. Right. I, as soon as he walked by me, I said to my wife, 
there's something with this guy. Yeah. You know, and he mentioned to me that he had been read on another on another station or another show. Uh, that doesn't. And um, he had said to me that uh, oh, I had been read by somebody, and I said, gee, there's something about you that's very unusual. And that's what started the reading. So I have to tell you, connected to him, there is a reference to an early death where someone lost a father figure at a very young age. With Billy, any time I see him, I think huge loss. <laughs> but is there a chance I could talk with him? Or Yeah, sure. I mean, ah, this is ah. from beyond. Hey, Billy. Yeah, come on in, Bill. I, uh... I have to tell you this because when we came in, I said, I think I, I almost felt like I knew you. And then yeah. as it turned out, we had, uh, Shocking. Um, we kind of crossed each other's Billy. paths at one point. But when I came into the room, I said, there's definitely someone in this room that had lost their father when they were very, very young. And there's a reference to a sudden and an unexpected loss. And second to that, they're also acknowledging for me what they call a crown on the head, which means they're telling me that they're thanking you for taking over the role of the parent figure or taking God. on the burden of the family because they're making an acknowledgement out of me uh, without getting too personal there's also a reference to coins Then when they show me coins that usually means one of two things either someone collected coins like silver dollars half dollars that kind of thing but there's also a reference to recovery and there's a reference to that so i know that's definitely being acknowledged to me here and uh, i also have to tell you there's a reference to someone other than the father figure and there's another Bill or Billy. There's oh, an, great. There's another Bill or another William, like another B sound connected with you. Do you have another William or another Bill, like a grandfather figure? Grandfather was it's William. Got, it's got a baby. And also connected to this man, there has to be a reference. They're showing me broken beer bottles, so either there is That's alcohol the family. in the family <laughs> or there's a Billy's relationship. Billy's apartment. And I've got to say this to you also, and, one of the, and Ron, this may be with you as well. There's a reference to someone either who worked on, repaired, fixed, or really detailed old cars or has a passion for either classic cars or classic motorcycles That's not or, mine. or worked in a garage as a mechanic or came up working with uh, like a grease monkey kind of a thing. Definitely. Or may yeah. have been at car shows or appeared at car shows. No, I just know my grandfather worked at the Brooklyn Navy Yard repairing ships. They're, they're acknowledging the number 55 to me, which is very significant. Old 55. That, that was yeah. my high school football number. There you go. Because that's what I'm seeing a 55 Chevy. Your IQ. So I, I, know that there's a, <laughs> I know that there's a reference to the number 55. So the 55 pertains. And also there's an acknowledgment of either. That was also your waist size in uh, high school. <laughs> a couple of years ago. Yeah. And the year he graduated. <laughs> Does the number 56 mean anything to you? But uh, the 55 uh, definitely connects for you. And also there's a reference to a John or Joan or John also or Joseph. It's a J-O reference that comes through. J-O? It's, yeah, that's perfect that's for Billy. Billy. It's, definitely con it's definitely connected in the room. And the young man, there's a young fellow standing right across from me here. There's a young guy that I'm looking at. What's your name? That's Rory. That's oh, Rory Hampton. My name's Rory. Hi, Rory? Yes, As Rory. It, Rory, uh, do you have like an Elizabeth or a Mary connection with your family? Or a Marie? Anything there, Rory? Or Madeline, a Madeline, M-A sound. There's an acknowledgement of an M-A, Mary, Marie. A Marion. A Marion. I'm telling you, there's a reference of a connection of a Mary, <laughs> Marion, or a Marie sound connected. And I'm also going to tell you there's a, either a grandmother figure that lived with you or lived in your home. Because there's the, the, what they're calling a, what they call a two-on-one, meaning yeah, show, that's, that's Roy's family, like a residence of two-on-one in the same house, and Minaj. Yeah, no. <laughs> it, reading it, the Minaj. Did, did your grandma live with your parents at some point? Do you know if your grandma, your mom took care of your grandpa? Yes. Grandma? Oh my God, that's weird. Would you would yes. you understand that? Yes. And how does the name Rose connect with you? Or Robert, the R O sound reference. Rose, Ronnie, Robert. One of you guys has a Rob or a Rose reference here. Nothing there. Mm. Yeah, I'm positive. There's a reference to an R.O. sound, and they're also acknowledging the 16th day. Would it be Rory? Yes. 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 That's R.O. That's your name? Yes. yes. I'm sorry. I really wasn't focused okay. on it. Because there's a reference to the R.O. connection. And did you ever come from out of state? No. What is the Florida reference in the room? There's a reference to someone who either lives in Florida. That's uh, Fez. Worked, that's me. Worked in Florida? Me. Yeah. I worked in Florida. Fez, you Fez lived in Florida. Because there's a reference to someone that either worked in Florida or lived in Florida. And connected to this, there's again a repeating reference to an older female that crosses that's connected to you, which makes it either your grandma has crossed. Yes. Did your grandmother also live in the same home oh with God. your parents? Or did your mother take yeah. care of your grandmother? Yeah. 
She, in the uh, same home, though. Yeah, she died in our home. All right, stay with. Well, try not to give me that if you can. Uh, if you can help us. Oh, sorry. Please. But you know, it's okay because they're they're making an issue about care given to me, mm -hmm. and that's how I'm hearing it. And I want to bounce this name again because there's a reference to an M A, like a Marie, a Mary, a Madeline, and also a Lizzie or an Elizabeth or an Elaine, an E sound reference with you, mm -hmm. that comes in connected to your family and. They're telling me about the swelling of the legs. Someone either had an ambulatory issue. That or, whole family's could, legs swell up. Or could not. We have bad ankles. But do you know if your grandmother did specifically? Yeah, she had a blood clot in her ankle. That's it, because there's a reference to something oh leg-related. Oh, my God. Don't tell me it's more. still bothering her. <laughs> well, she, her lymph is leaving. Let me put it that way. But the, the um, wow. And did you, you know if your grandfather ever, or someone connected above you, like a father feeling or a grandfather feeling, was either a hunter or hunted or a had, gatherer or had a uh, had a hunting background? Yeah, my grandfather hunted. Hunt, oh my I'm God. not just talking and casually. Raised, I mean, they may have been and had, raised hunting dogs. Right, that's it. Because I'm be, and do you know if you have in your home either um, one of his rifles, or you may have something that belongs to him as far as one of his rifles or something you personally have yourself. My brother has those. Who has the silver dollar oh. nailed on the wall? The silver dollar well, like nailed a, the, on the wall. Well, I tell you what, they're showing me the uh, the movie picture Mo Moby Dick. Remember Moby Dick? Okay. And, they, and they put the balloon up on the mast of the ship. Mm. And they said, whoever catches this great white whale will get that gold balloon. I'm being shown that. So either it's like a, you have like a horseshoe nailed on the wall, or someone has a balloon nailed up on the wall, or a silver dollar. But it's not so much kind of a trophy mentality connected to it. The only thing I think we have up on the wall is one of his saws. That's it, hanging on the no, wall. No, there's more to it. That's beautiful. And then, they, they're so good at decorating. <laughs> now, there's a reference to... Now, I'm positive. There's a reference to either a... Um, some kind of... I hate to say trophy because a trophy kind of is an obvious connection to hunting. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Right. I mean, yeah, it, he didn't win any It's not like that. But it, that in either he had coins or he collected coins or there's a reference to a coin that he gave you. He collected coins, but they're not hanging on the wall. He, there's a cross. I'll tell you this: No one in your family ever spent a coin. <laughs> we are not cheap. Yes, you are. Where is the tell where, the medium that? Mm. Where is the cross reference to the construction work or the guys that worked in construction? Then my grandfather also built furniture. Oh okay, my that's god! A, did, do you know if he built his own home or helped build his own house? Yes. No, he didn't do he that. He helped. He had to have. Yeah. He helped build our house. And, and stay with yes. me on this, please. And this and this is a little delicate. So there's a reference between the two of you guys between. Someone who loses a younger person in the family, and it's related to a blood illness, like either someone had AIDS or someone had leukemia, and they die much earlier than expected. And they keep acknowledging it, like someone either worked with AIDS or worked with leukemia, and there's a reference to a person who's coming in, and they're making me feel like someone either lost a younger sibling, like a brother or a younger child connected, and they're in this room because they're trying to be heard. Do you understand Is that, that? You, Billy? I had a girl I went to the prom uh, with in uh, high school who went to the, who died of AIDS. There oh we go. I'm telling you, yeah. there's a Yeah, it's in the room, and I'm telling you, there's a oh name. God. I'm not saying I have her name, but there is a reference definitely connected here uh, to this Mary, Marie, or Elizabeth, and also connected in your family. There was a reference to the number 16, mm. and a name Carol or Catherine, also links and also connects for me and in the, between you two guys and I'm sure yeah, of it both of them do you guys understand this does that make sense to either one of you Rory or I'm Billy I'm sure of it no none of it 16 member well, Billy the one, for you there's a 16th day of a month or like a particular date in the month is either the 16th day of a month or someone's trips passing date anniversary date or it's I'm sure of it Donuts. And, it's, and it's connecting to this young lady and they are telling me that the AIDS comes accidentally. Like she doesn't know she has it or she catches it by surprise. Do you understand that? Yeah, she got it through drug use. Okay, because there's something that catches her off guard. Right. And I connected to her also, though. And uh, Yes. He wasn't expecting that, Billy? No. No, there's something. Caught her off guard. There's something that, because she makes me feel that it comes as a surprise. Did you go to her wake or did you go to her funeral? Yes. Because she's, acknowledg and she's acknowledging it to me that you not only had a personal thing with her but there was a relationship that you maintain with do it again someone wrote a letter about her she's yes. acknowledging like a letter after the death like uh, someone either wrote a, a poem G. or a bereavement letter or made some kind of a reference to her after the fact you know if she had an honoring after her passing yeah we did something at our high school reunion For, connected to yeah. her the 40 year the 20 <laughs> okay. 20 year <laughs> 
Yeah, no, there we had a whole little and thing at the Let me stay with you. As I, this is really directed at you. Yes. Who has the father that was a fireman or was a volunteer fireman? That was actually my uncle. Oh, okay, because there's a. Do you know if your dad's brother was uh, connected yeah. to a fireman? Yeah, that's yeah. his uncle. All right, because there's a, that's because it could it be a mother's uncle. My, it was actually my dad's sister's husband. Husband. Okay, yeah. because I know there's a fireman or a fireman's reference connected, mm -hmm. and he's also crossed. Yes. Now I know the I know the trade center had the we had a recent issue yeah. with the trade center, and it's well, obviously in the fireman, yeah. right? Kind Weird. of a big. You know, it's kind of sad. We I don't get into the city as much as I used to, and we took a little time to go by there, you know, and it might work that I do. Unfortunately, I may meet so many people that have suffered losses in the Trade Center, you know. And it's really nice to be able to help them and reach out and, and have the readings happen for them. But uh, it, it's always heartbreaking. But connected to this, do you have someone else also lost in the Trade Center other than a fireman? This other fireman? No, I have nobody connect? for me in the Trade yeah, Center. Yeah, because this guy is also a pastor that's a fireman, yes? Yes, definitely this is, a fireman. And this is your uncle? Yeah. Where does the aneurysm or the blood reference come in connected ah. to this guy? Ah, do you understand that? Um, I don't remember what I died from. I, I really don't know. I'm sorry. I, it's all right. I feel he like thought that was coming <laughs> in from the other side. There's, there's Scared me, Casper. There was there's a reference to a uh, a fellow that has like a blood clot or suffered a stroke. Like connected anybody to the farm. His family. Yeah, that's his his brother is still suffering from a stroke. And one right. right one of says, listen on this. Yeah. There's, a, there's a reference to a man that um, is acknowledging either he damaged his hand or he burned his hand or had a finger missing or an someone has a missing appendage on a finger or a hand. Like, Jerry Garcia. Like someone had uh, an injury to the hand or may have had a partial paralysis to the hand. Well, what about the thing with the, those toes, Billy, that were fused together that you were... Well, that was. Hey, so uh, that do you have this personally? Do I no, have it personally? He, but no, he put I it was, in his mouth. I put him in my mouth last week. <laughs> Could that be connected to uh, web toes? <laughs> did you? No, it's not connected to web toes. Oh. <laughs> this is a guy that either oh, had, right. like Donald Duck here. This is a guy that had either um, a deformed hand or a surgically repaired hand, or hmm. yeah, it's really strong. Like someone got the, either their knuckles broken or there was an injury to the knuckles. Or to the hand itself. Anyone Posit in here have that? Positively, or may have broken their hand. Did you ever break your hand or I had a glove? Fracture your hand? No, I've never broken a bone in my body. Huh. Well, well, well the night's young, Quit you know. <laughs> the, night is, the night is young. You never had a cavity either, did you, Roy? I think I have one now. Sweet. The I have to move. Uh, this, uh, it's, it's coming. Okay. It's coming back between you two guys. The hand I, people. I want to stay with this. No, there's a reference to it because they're acknowledging either. It doesn't just come across to me as an arthritic condition. This comes across as absolutely a reference to a hand that either suffered some kind of a injury or had some kind of an issue Billy, to the hand. Billy, what about the, that girl, Lobster Claws? She, he had a girl that he was dating who had very red hands. Practically deformed. All the time. And we, no, thought, no, we nicknamed no, no. her Rob, this Lobster is, Claws. And let me go to you guys for a second. Because yeah, all right. Because and when I bring up people's families, I try to be as uh, uh, go ahead and be blunt, respectful as I can. No, go ahead Did and be blunt. Did one of you guys lose your mom? Mm, not yet. Uh, as much as we pray, no. We both nope. have our moms. Because I'm being told about a mother figure that lived in a home with you that died. Like you grew up with them and she crosses and either acted as a mother figure or acted in the family. Did your grandmother live with you when you were a young guy? Yeah. Mine did. Mine Yours did. did. Yeah. And because they're, they're telling me that they grow up with... One of you or both of you, uh, like in my case, my grandmother lived in Brooklyn. We lived on the island. I visited her on Sundays. Like it was like a ritual, you know. But I'm being told there's a female that lived in the home with, and they're making me go in this direction towards you both. I've never and, had a mother figure in my life. And there was a mother figure. Not even my that, own mother. There's a mother figure that mother crosses Ashford. connected to one of you guys. And I'm being told she dies in the house. No. Well, she's found dead in the house. Well, she dies in the home. No. no. We had money. No. No, no. I don't mean had a funeral in the house. I mean dies in the house. Right. Are you sure that your, your grandmother didn't die in your home? She was dying in the house, but she didn't die in the house. The whole family was dying well, she, Did she have like, a, like a medical equipment or things there that were trying to help her? or Because I'm seeing sure like medications and things connected to yeah, medical equipment. Yeah, that. And your grandma had one of those escalators to get her up the steps like most of the family used. <laughs> and there was like five steps, and they sit on one of those little seats. To we go need that. We're weak back people. And are you both sure there's no connection to the name Rose or Rob? Or Is there an Iris? 
No, this is definitely a rose. It's an R O sound. Mm. Definitely connected. And Roseanne? It's got an R O sound. It's really, really I know really my strong. grandmother used to watch Bob Roseanne. Hmm. And I'm That'd also gonna t- where does the who's the guy in the room here that had the person with the open heart surgery? That's uh, Billy. Did you That's have open heart surgery? Sta- yeah. Stapled chest. I didn't have open heart Did you have surgery, surgery to your chest? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'm telling you, this show, this is, uh, show this chest, show them your chest, and see if that helps. Look at that! Def- wow, you definitely had it. Oh yeah. my God! Do you need to touch the scar? That's about an eight. <laughs> what about risotto? Do you understand that? Yeah. The, as an RO sound? Yeah. Is that a female name? I, that, yeah. That, that's a, that's a female name. Right. Was that a show up at all? I, I'm not sure yet, but I keep telling. I can tell you that connected to one of the two of you, there's a female that tells me that she grew up as a mother figure to right. one of you, very significant. She and she lived in your home. And there's a reference to someone that also suffered from diabetes, or someone had a severe condition with a, a diabetic illness, and it's very, very intense. And they're making an issue about it, and there may have been a gangrene or an amputation connected to the diabetes, and someone may have missed their diabetic insulin condition they may have not taken their medicines on time and fought it and it's connected to that same person there is a police officer reference there's a badge reference a cop or a fireman it comes in more of a round badge so it's got to be definitely police definite Hmm. and wow man I'm telling you listen to me carefully do you have someone that was born either on Christmas day or born on Christmas Eve or someone that died or passed on Christmas Eve or Christmas day no Jesus Tell me. I'm, I'm Billy? T- or the 24th or the 25th of the month? Nothing with Christmas, but the police officer strikes a bell. What's that? What would that be, Billy? Wow. The DUIs? No, not the DUIs. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, then? Well, no, I just I didn't want to give too much. Well, yeah. if, if what I'm telling you makes sense, the, acknowledge, the acknowledgments are important because it kind of lets me yeah, know the, like I'm on right the right. There was a police the, officer in my life. There has to have been a cop. There has to be, because they're referring to the... Surgery of the, what looked to me like open heart surgery because they're definitely telling me about some kind of a surgical procedure, and they're also telling me, and I don't want to get too personal with you, but either you had a near not a near death experience, I but either wish. you had a major oper- like a major bout with almost dying, or someone in the family almost died, and there's a connection to it. And I want to go back to what I told you before. There's definitely a connection to a father that crosses close to you. And they're telling me specifically that you're a young guy when he dies, mm-hmm. and that you take on the weight of the family on your shoulders, and you take literally on the takes burden. on the weight of the family. Well, this was what was told to me after my father. My father had a, uh, his first heart attack when I was very young, second one when I was 11, and then at the funeral they told me, "Well, you're the man of the family now." Oh, I mean, it's a geez. specific That's reference. That's a nice thing. How old were you? 11. Yeah, like you need oh, to God. hear that patches. And, I know. <laughs> and where does the railroad engineer or the worker of the train? So who had the train set or the trains? We had, we had uh, been yeah. always put up the Lionel sets. Well, I mean, a lot of people do that at Christmas, but yeah. this is a very specific... No, we still have them in the attic. Oh, you we do? Okay, because I'm, t- I'm being told about the, the, train, the train set. And didn't you fall asleep on the train the other night? Just the there other night, I fell asleep on the train. Weird. <laughs> with that paper bag and that whole thing? That <laughs> <laughs> Just so everyone knows what's going on, we're speaking with Robert Hansen. He's psychic medium who's come in to the show tonight. Good evening, folks. And we're right in the middle of a reading with uh, Bill and... I'm acknowledging to him a reference to his family. His dad had passed when he was a young guy, and the energy continues to come at you. Who in the family either owned or raised a golden retriever or had like an Irish setter or a light-haired dog? That was actually my ex-wife. All right, because there's a reference to a golden retriever. The golden retriever was your ex-wife? Yes. Lassie was her name, then. (laughs) I called her dog on occasion. (laughs) Serious. I have to go to this guy in the corner, though. I, no, oh, is that oh, hockey? That's hawk. Yeah. Oh. Get over there, hawk. The they're spirits make, are They're making me uh, pull today. across the room to Mr. Hawk here. Um, do you have family that lives out of state? They're Jeter. Or out of area? Yes. Oh, geez, do, you, do you have people also that live out of, our, out of the country? No. Or do you have people that resided out of the country for a while? Libya? No. No, I'm sure of it. Because they're making me feel that either people in your family speak an ethnic tongue or have another relationship and language or there's something out of the area that's definitely connected to you. And were you ever a music major or did you ever were you ever involved with music or music or musical work no, other than working not, for the radio station? No, not at all. Where does the musician fall into your family? There aren't any. That's why I have no musical talent. 
No, I'm not. I have no interest in music. Okay. Have you done anything? <laughs> there's a, there's a reference between the two of you guys. Either someone played classical music, or someone worked with music, or someone had a piano, or played piano, or there's some reference to music, or musician, or, or uh, how can I put it? Like either acted on stage, or did performances. Or performing arts. No. My grandfather used to play the piano all the time. Wow. All right, because there's a reference to something about a piano player or someone that played. Don't go far, Mr. Hawk. You're not getting off yeah. that easy. There's a <laughs> I feel like I'm on a TV show, Spencer. Yeah. You know, not that guy Hawk with uh, right. Robin Gurek. Right. So he just passed away, Robin Did he? Have you heard from him? Not recently. I'm waiting for his call, though. Have yeah. you ever talked to any famous people? Living or dead? Both. Well, I, ha I tell you, I did, uh, on, a, on a serious note, I had a... Um, a couple of clients that I've had who have worked with people on Broadway, you know, one of them happened to have a relationship at one point with John Lennon. Uh, there was a peripheral reference to it, but I haven't had an opportunity to really. But I, you know, I did uh, read someone connected to Billy Joel recently that was part of his band and, wow. and connected with that. So uh, I did have that opportunity about a month ago. Um, I've been uh, very blessed with a lot of people that I've read. I've had an opportunity. I probably see about anywhere between 600 and 1,000 people a month. You know, and, and wow. in public appearances and stuff like this. Now, you know? are you able to connect with all of them or just a percentage well, of them? Well, what really happens is, on, on, uh, the way it legitimately happens is, is that I realize for most people listening, you know, there's a lot of skepticism connected to this whole thing. Because uh -huh. it sounds like you throw out a lot of information, a little bit sticks, you kind of dig into it, you try to figure it out and make it apply. Right. But when readings really take place, at which they are taking place now, um, the energy really starts to come through. And where most people make the mistake in a reading is they really don't listen carefully enough to the information or they have a particular person they're thinking about, like, that I should get. And what happens is there's a thing called the psychic link, which really occurs where, for example, uh, when I have parents that have lost children, which is really tough, you know. You, sure. I don't know they've lost their child when they meet me. I don't know anything when they come in. And uh, all of a sudden, I, they're looking for that, let's say they lose their daughter, they want to hear from this young lady and they're anxious to hear about the young girl that dies but I'm talking about an uncle and they're saying no 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 we're not here for that little do they realize the uncle was her godfather who passed away let's say oh. in, in Vietnam so you gotta be open to it and, well that's what really starts the energy rolling and once that begins then it goes I'm also being shown here that someone's father and or grandfather was either raised with grew up with or played ball with a professional athlete that would be mine do you understand that? Yeah. Because they're making me feel that someone really either played ball with somebody or grew up specifically playing baseball, may have had a pro contract, or may yes. have played professionally. That is a connection. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me your dad is living? No, yeah, my dad's living. It's his father. Okay, because there's someone connect and connected to this. There has. Where does the Harry or the Henry or the Herman or the H sound come in with you? Oh, that would be him. That would oh, be Harry. There you go. And there's a reference to either you have like a bats and balls or you have a glove or you have newspaper clippings but there was some reference yes. to this for sure mm -hmm. and it's a source of pride with you and I've got it and I gotta tell you this either there is in this room either someone has baseball equipment someone has a bat someone has a ball I'm holding a bat under the table here <laughs> I gotta be kidding that's you know. weird because <laughs> there's a reference to baseball equipment is that connected to your grandpa yeah I was actually thinking about him when you were doing this no, no joke? Back. No. Okay. Well, I'm letting you know because I'm telling you there's a reference to a Harry or a Henry no, at H-Sound. Harry. That's coming through. And remember I mentioned before the diabetes? Mm hmm In your family, do you know someone has the diabetic condition? Yeah. Or was the, okay. And that would be my dad. And let me also say this to you. There is a definite reference to someone that is allergic to penicillin. That's my mom. You bet. And... I want to be respectful here because mm -hmm. I know this can get really... It's a good show. It's a lot of fun. I'm having a great time. Mm -hmm. But when you're talking about someone's mother or someone's father, I've got to be a little cool with it. Uh, would you know if you have twins in the family? Yes. Okay, because they're acknowledging twins. And respectfully, again, do you know if someone lost twins? Yes. Okay, because I'm being told and I'm being shown double baby carriages in my head. Mm -hmm. And they're telling me they're protecting the kids. Wow. That's how I hear it and see it. You bet. So I want you to know that they're being, wherever these twins are connected to you... That was Harry's kids he uh was on his way to a ball game uh-huh this was actually before i was born they were driving over a, a bridge my father's uh brother and sister the twins drove off the bridge oh my gosh i didn't see that part but i do know here's the strange thing sure this bat that i have belonged uh -huh. to him is that right yeah okay because i didn't and know I you had it in the room and yeah here I, it is. I keep it down here on the table and people always bring it up to me 
that I have it with me all the time. Is that right? Yeah. Because it's, uh, it's it came lightning in, boy. It came in very, very... That's from what? The natural, right? Lightning boy? Yeah. Because so yeah. it looks like a new bat. Is that yeah. really your grandpa's no, bat? it was my grandpa's bat. Is yeah. that right? Well, and, and again, this may sound a little bit odd, but you have... Between the two of you, there's someone that worked either on a ranch or on a farm who was injured either by farm equipment or was injured by a large... Like a, like a working animal, like a cow yes. or a horse or something? That was also me. You, you, also, you understand that? Because mm-hmm. I'm being... My so, older brother was... Uh, uh, drugged by a horse. As in when, dragged. Yeah. Not drugged, but yeah. as in dragged. Yeah, he yeah. was uh, on the horse, and it it started to, to buck him, and he fell off, and his foot was in the saddle. Got caught in the stirrup or in yeah, the saddle? in the stirrup. Right. It didn't kill him, though? No. And this is going to sound, this is really directed at you. Do you do charity work? Yes. Uh, which I really don't talk about. No, I know. I'm not try- I, and then yeah. I'll just let you hear it from a very general possession. And I'm not trying to puff this up because I just don't do it. You know, uh, They're acknowledging to me through your grandfather that you work and do a lot of things in private mm-hmm. where you do things behind the scenes for special children uh, or you work in a charity capacity to a great extent almost tirelessly yeah. without acknowledgement. My wife and I have uh, you know, our four children and my nine-year-old is an autistic child. I have mm-hmm. a special boy. That's part of what else I do, you know, just to right. share with the audience real quick. I, I also teach special education for 30 years. I work with developmentally challenged children every week uh, from ages four and up. And um, it's been, uh, I, I wouldn't trade them for anything in the world. I love those kids. And this gift came along and has been a wonderful ally to that. Right. Because I use it a lot with the children, you know. It's kind of nice to work with them. So there you go. That's uh, the energy so far in the room. So wh- what's the message that I'm getting for that? Are we going to get a cure? The, I can only tell you what I see, of course, and what I'm hearing is that you're devoted to some work to it. I Same. need to know where the, um, the chi- and it's coming across as a childhood-based illness. Well, do you work with children-based illnesses? Yeah. They're showing me Ronald McDonald House. They're showing me references to that kind of stuff without getting too personal. Mm-hmm. Cause I know it's, it's, a, yeah, it's a fast food thing. It's not Ronald McDonald, okay, but it is fast food. There's some reference to a restaurant that you are, right. or referenced by something like that, either a juvenile diabetes, or there's definitely something connected to you. Sandwich based. Okay, okay. That, uh, that you do. And um, I, I, I can't give you much more past. Who owned the Volkswagen? That was my sister's husband, who actually got me into this work into right. the sandwich uh, because terrorists. they're telling me about this uh, person of the Volkswagen or the person with the Volkswagen mm-hmm. that brings you close forward right and I gotta ask you this also mm-hmm. did you personally ever get hit to the back of the head hard yes did someone mug you or attack you or physically assault you yes as a child I was hit because they, they're making me feel you had some kind of impact to the back of the head mm-hmm. or you had some kind of spinal cord Damage. Or some damage, yes, yeah. that somehow impacted you. Right. And either it became a point of teasing you or mm-hmm. someone they used to... Well, when I was paralyzed, they, they would tease oh, me. The kids would tease me. You were physically paralyzed? Yeah. All right, because I'm being... And I'm, I know this sounds... Because, uh, all, when I was very young, though. You know what? i got to tell you this, and I'll come right back to the story. About a year ago, I had a woman come see me at my office, and she was very resistant to everything mm-hmm. that I did. Her brother, her brother, her husband had come, and her husband had seen me live at a public show. And uh, she comes into my office and she says, I don't believe in any of this stuff. And I said, that's fine. You don't have to. Just listen to what I say. And I tried to explain it to her and she insisted on being very resistant. And I said, what's the core problem with you? What's the problem? And she says, I just don't believe that my father who died is going to show up at your business office in Wanto, Long Island. I can't believe that he would do that. And I said, you don't get it. I said, they don't come to the radio station. They don't come to a soundstage. They right. don't come to a theater. They come because they recognize that your soul is asking for them. And when a guy like me shows up, they know that there's someone around who can interpret what they're trying to tell me. Mm-hmm. That being said, I'm telling you, there is this reference for you personally, like an applause feeling, that you have like two sides. And whatever you're doing, and you do it great on radio, right. Thank you. there's a whole other side to you that people the outside don't side. know. It's right. very private, and they're very proud. Really? A- absolutely. And that would be my grandfather's proud that's of the, the work pr- that I'm doing with children? That's the primary energy that I'm getting because he's telling me whatever it is, it's based on children, and there's a loss of the twins. Right. And he kind of consoles that energy through oh, yeah. you. It's mm-hmm. almost like there's an ally reference. And do, do you have your grandfather's jacket, or do you ever wear his yes. clothes? 
I have his uh, Yankees jacket. There you go, because he tells me you have something of his body that you wear connected to him. And why does he keep acknowledging the female with him? He's telling me there's a female he, connected with him, which means either your grandmother is also passed, mm -hmm, connected yes. to him. But did he lose a sister as well? Yes, she was in the car. Okay, there you but go. Because, when he went off the bridge. There you go, because he's telling me about protection of the sister energy as well. That is bizarre. Now, I wear that. When I'm doing my charity work, I'll put on that jacket mm -hmm. a lot of times for the kids and stuff because uh -huh. they'll see the old Yankees stuff. But I'm just trying to figure out what... What he's trying to tell me. I mean, where did the well, fact that I was paralyzed? The energy has... Well, they give me these references for whoever I'm reading to let you know enough specific things uh -huh. that I would tell you about yourself that you say, there's no way this guy can notice. Right. right. It's just too much stuff. That's their way of knowing that I've identified the person I'm supposed to be talking to. They are telling me to have you continue to do what you're doing, that the, whatever you're involved with, whatever this charity is, uh, uh, connected to this Yankee jacket, connected through your grandfather, mm -hmm. whether it be um, uh, one of these fast food places like we mentioned before, right. whatever this organization is, to keep doing whatever you're doing. And in your family, do you have someone that was uh, a Catholic nun? Yes. In the I family? Think, yeah. My she, Aunt Peppy. You know she crossed? Yeah. Just... Uh, Six months ago. All right, because I'm telling you, as I'm sitting here, I just got told by Harry uh -huh. that I have the nun with me. Wow. Oh, man, they're all together. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, the family, you know you know why they come through? I don't know. If they, most people don't realize why this even happens. Yeah. And I'll share it with the audience because a lot of people see us, you know, there's only a handful of us that really do this professionally. And most people don't have any idea why it happens. Mm -hmm. The reason why it happens is for three reasons. One, they want people who are alive to know that after their body had stopped, that they got to the other side in kind of a safe, loving way. That they're not scared, they're not in a dark place, they're not frightened, that they're being loved, they're being protected, and they're not in any way in harm's way. Number two, they want you to know that they really kind of involve themselves with your world. And I, and I, and I say that to you in this way, they'll often tell me about things that are happening in your life now. And you might say to yourself, well, that can't be Harry, he died already. Right. How would he know about this? That's Harry's way of telling you, hey, I'm watching you, and I'm proud of what you're doing. That's his way of saying And then that. he has my aunt with him. Yes. Which is that P sound. Right. The, which Peppy. is the nun. And then finally... And we would call her aunt's sister because she was a nun, but that's bizarre that you would pick, saying, this, yeah, and, yeah, pick this up. Well, it's not bizarre to me. It's maybe bizarre to you guys. Yeah. This happens every day. And the last reason, which is kind of the most beautiful reason, is they want you to know that they're waiting for you. They Jeez. do not Yikes. leave. That's no, scary. no, 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 no. It's kind of nice it because feels good. you know why. You know what I want to do. You know, and maybe you guys have some advice to me on this. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to go to a hospice where right. people who are terminal are facing the last maybe months of their lives and do a reading for someone who's dying. And if you could connect, let's say, with their mother or their father and really make a legitimate connection. How comforting would it be for them to know that their dad is really waiting for them and not to be worried when they eventually pass? Like having someone picking you up at the airport. Exactly right. Because it really is kind of like that. It's just a passing point. We're only in this body a short time. And while we're in it, we really should do the best we can to help people. So I've got to tell you, I'm really proud to be here because they keep telling me that you guys do private work for children and for children-based illnesses wow. and up? never ask for anything. No. And it's really cool. I've got to thank you for that because they're making a fuss over you. Well, that's nice to hear. You're very welcome. So and when you say us, you mean mainly me, but you help out with some things, Fez. Well, I do be, when I can. Licking you, they're licking you together. Yeah. And I don't know if someone works on a food drive or someone does uh, soup kitchens or things. But there's awesome a reference made. to it. And also, someone is telling me, man, oh man, that one of you guys either had an injured an uncle or someone that felt in harm's way, or one of you guys had someone in the family that really went on hard times, may have been homeless. Well, that was my uncle, who was an alcoholic. Yeah. Who uh, who was homeless for a while. And yeah. we had to go looking for and him. And you had to go find him. Yeah. Absolutely. And who has the Niagara Falls connection? That's Fez. That's yeah. where his family's from. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just telling you. Yeah. They started to show me falls, or that, and it's specifically Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls, I've yeah. never been there. I've been living it's in New York all my life, and I've never... Uh, fiance. Is from Niagara Falls? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. right. Now, on which side is she... Ontario side, right? She's on the Ontario okay. side. Can I just say this to you? Uh, and... I, I, you're saying it, this is your fiance, so you're not married yet. No. Is that the deal? I, when, I'm, when, I'm show, when I'm being shown Niagara Falls, they're also showing me an empty wedding dress, which is their way of saying to me, connected to your lady friend, that either one of her parents, someone real close to her, and I mean real close, has already crossed. 
and will not be able to be in the body in the at, at the wedding. Right. But yeah. they Have will you been be, in the but body? They, but they will be there. You that's know? personal. They'll be there in, in spirit. spirit. Yes, absolutely. They, they're oh, that's good make to know. And now, your, your, your family lived on the United States side. Yeah, my, my right. family lived on the She's New York. on the Canadian side. Okay, yeah. but I just know they're acknowledging it. And who worked with racetrack animals? That was my uh, dad. That was your was dad. Was a jockey. Okay, because I'm being told about the horsemen or the men of horses uh, or someone that worked with large race animals. or Four with, horsemen. There you go. Yeah. And remember before I made the reference to the horseshoe on the barn? Right. Yes. That's who they were trying to get me to talk oh, about. Oh, okay. That was for Ronnie, not yeah, for me. I'm sorry. That you was know what? Uh -huh. When you said that thing, I didn't think of the barn. But there is one on the inside of the barn, on my dad's barn. There you go. When you're going out. But I was thinking in a house. But he has it uh, up for luck. There you go. It's a, yeah. it's a nailed on wood. And right. Did, and did one of you guys, that's interrupted, did one of you guys ever work for a newspaper? Mm-hmm. To actually work for a yes. newspaper? Yes. Because I'm being told, I'm being shown uh, a newspaper press is actually flipping out copies of papers. That's yes. someone either worked on it either before radio yes. or whatever. And you actually worked in an editorial division or something. I worked for <laughs> Hubert Mizell. And this is flipped out here. What do you hear this? And I'm, Hawk, this may be with you over there, but uh -oh. somebody, and I'm not saying it's yours, but I, I, I don't want to promise, but one of, somebody in the room either has gone to a grave, and you ever see where they take etchings of gravestones? Yeah. You okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have they, one of you guys ever done that? My mom does it. Your mother does it. Yeah. Because they're telling me that's, like an, old, that's like an old art form. Right. And people take like tracing paper, they put it over they the grave. They put it on and then trace and it. Chalk yeah, my mom does that. And I'm being For told someone ones. actually does this. As a hobby, yeah. which is kind of an unusual hobby, let's it say, is. But, it, but it's actually being done. I have to tell you, connected to the wedding, you know if your wife, one of your wife's parents has passed? Yes. Because her, her, her father her, won't be able to her, give her away. That's it. He's dead. And does she have an older brother or something? Mm -hmm. Is he walking her down the aisle? Right, yeah. Is isn't that the guy? Isn't yeah. it a half-brother, though? Yeah. But I'm being told the brother figure is going to walk her nice. down the aisle. And would you know whether or not she's going to wear one of her grandmother's wedding bands? Wow, that is the weirdest thing. Yeah, she is. Yeah, because yeah. I'm being told she's not. She's wearing a wedding band connected to someone that's crossed or is older in the family, and it's a wedding band of acknowledgement, like an antique or something that's very, very special. It's something old. Yeah. Like you're freaking. Like I see. Like you're ready to cry. Yeah. That well, is wild. That's we were well, just talking you, about this. I got to tell you, it's really like a uh, a very emotional energy for me. I can see it in your face. Mm -hmm. But I want. I mean, there, it's like there's like a blessing on the wedding. And oh, I, good. Yeah, absolute. And but here on on this part, they're telling me about a person that's an older person, who either hid or. Um, denied themselves medical treatment for what looks like emphysema or for a cardiopulmonary issue and they fought like getting help it almost is like pneumonia got away from them and they got sick and eventually took their life that was her stubborn father there you go because they're making they him begged him yeah why and wouldn't he do anything about it and he hated doctors yeah this, this fellow just kind he of didn't want to go to the hospital he knew if he went to the hospital he would die yeah you know why died I, anyway and you know how i know it because in my head yeah they're putting two hands up like in the air like i give up i, I surrender it's like their way of saying i take responsibility for my own death and he's kind of coming in to me saying i will definitely be at my daughter's wedding make sure she knows I will be there. So, are you right. are you going to say that to her, Fez, or is it going to be too? No, I, I can say that to her. Yeah, I think she'd be glad to hear. I that. would love for you to hear. I mean, if, if you'd like to call tell her. her, please share that with her. Oh, we can't call her tonight. That's why not. Are we going to do calls? Are we? Gonna, yeah, we're going to do gonna calls. But right now, I'm freaked. Fez, how you feel? I <laughs> am completely <laughs> weirded out. Robert well, Hansen, thanks. psychic medium, is in studio with us. He's going to be in East Hampton on June 26th. 26 at the John Drew Theater at the Guild Hall in East Hampton. All right, we'll take a break and we'll come back and do some readings. That's I gotta great. go uh, take a walk and smoke. Yeah, <laughs> because my head right now spinning. Well, thank you. Getting plenty of Just information. Just spinning. All right, we'll take your calls eight seven seven six nine two one zero two seven with Robert Hanson, psychic medium. When we return, we're the Ron Fest show. Uh, Robert, uh, before we take the call, is there anything you need the people to do? Or? Yeah, this would be great. If you're going to get a chance to get through, and I hope we uh, can get to as many people as we can, uh, I would suggest having a pen and pencil nearby or a piece of something to pa paper to write on. Just in case I give you something you don't immediately recognize, it's always good to write it down because I assure you that it will make sense to you perhaps even after we get off the phone. Please be open to anyone connected in your family. Sometimes the first person you're thinking about hearing from uh, doesn't jump into your mind right away. Uh, it is what we call a link. So just be open to anyone that may be connected to your family directly. 
please just let me know if what I'm telling you is correct. If it doesn't make sense, by all means say, I don't know what you're referring to, and I'll continue to push the reading. And please realize we're limited for time on the air, so uh, we'll try to keep it to about a minute or less, uh, give or take. All okay? right. Fair enough. All right. Let's go to uh, Sandra. Sandra, you're on uh, Ron and Fez. How are you, Sandra? Oh, hi, boys. Hi, Sandra. You're on with Robert Hansen. Hi, Sandra. Good evening. How are you? Good. How are you? Hey, thank you for calling in. How can I help you? I just wanted to see if you could feel anything make for a, me. Make a connection for you? Well, I generally do people that have crossed over. Uh, immediately, I'm not feeling a direct connection for you, but I do have a parent figure that comes in from above. Um, and I also have to tell you, there's a female figure that definitely dominates the energy in your reading. Do you understand that? Okay. Which would be like a mother or a grandmother feeling definitely connected from above. Okay. And do you have, uh, there's a reference to either Southern Florida or Florida connected to you. Okay. Do you have family members in Florida? Yes, I do. That are living there currently? Yes, I do. Are your parents down there now? No. Because uh, they're showing me residents in Florida. In other words, not just vacationing, but actually living in Florida? My in-laws. Okay, are living in Florida? Yes. Okay, I'm also going to tell you that there's a reference to someone that either had a filling of fluids in the upper chest. It's, uh, there's like a darkening to my chest as I'm talking to you. And they make me feel that someone either had emphysema or some kind of a pulmonary cardiorespiratory kind of an infection. It's almost akin to, um, I hate to say cancer because it doesn't feel cancer to me. It feels more like a breathing difficulty that invades their lives. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. And also, who has the two dogs of the same breed? Uh, gosh. Um, well, does someone raise dogs or have like a litter of dogs or something? Not, no, not that I can think of offhand. Oh, my gosh. You're acknowledging like two of the same breed. And just bear with me for one second. They're acknowledging two men connected to you uh, without getting too personal on the phone. Hi, nice, Sandra. Are you in a significant relationship now? Like, is it a marriage? Um, yeah, I'm in a marriage. Have you been, without getting too personal on air, have you been married before? Yes, I have. Because uh, they're acknowledging a double reference in the marriage. And... And both her husband are dogs. <laughs> and I don't want to create any trouble over the area, that's all. I'm just trying to be careful. Connected to your first husband? Just kind of think about that for a minute, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, do you know if his dad has passed? Um, ooh, I'm not sure. Because uh, I'm being told Wait. about a husband figure, father crossed, and there's a reference to someone kind of trying to reconcile a relationship, and very, very quickly, there is a reference to the side, which is like a, either a, uh, a very good friend cousin, very close girlfriend, or possibly sibling, and that may have been involved or affected by breast cancer. Okay. Do you understand that? Um, okay. Okay, because they're telling me about a breast cancer passing. All right, so just All hold right. on to that information. Yeah. Sandra, we got to move on if we're going to get more people. Okay. okay, thank you so much for calling in. Here's uh, Brenda. Brenda, you're on Rana Fez. Hi, Brenda. Hi. You're on with Robert Hansen. Hi, Hi Brenda. Is, is it Brenda? Yes, it is. Hi, Brenda. Thanks for calling. Thank who, you. Who went to England in your family? Oh, absolutely nobody. What is the reference to London or Europe? Odd Europe, tonight. possibly. Uh, yeah. there's, there's a reference to someone that either went to Europe or went to London to visit. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? This is, I mean, I realize people travel to Europe. I understand that. Mm -hmm. but well, definitely Europe, but not England. There's definitely, but it's not just social. It's like business. Um, Do you know someone does business in Europe? Call no. Them. Mm, okay, I'll, I'll take you at your face, but... It's coming through to me this way, and there's also a reference to someone that was either in a garment district business? Yes, my grandmother was. Okay, because there's a reference to someone in the garment Incredible. district or someone in the garment district. Mm -hmm. And I've got to tell you, does someone in your family work with special ed kids? Um, <laughs> kind of, I do. I teach. Oh, oh there you go. Because there's wow. a reference to a teacher, because they show me blackboards with crayons. I, my wife and I have four children. You may have heard me mention this earlier. Mm -hmm. yes, and I, I have an autistic son. I've been working with special ed kids for 30 years. I'm privileged to work with them. You know, I love them enormously. And I'm seeing a teaching reference with you. So at some point in your career, you've touched the heart of a special child. I want you to know that. So somewhere in here, you've definitely done that. And where, who was the person that had the very severe, and I mean severe, infection to the leg or may have had some kind of thrombosis to the leg? Um... I would have to say my grandmother again. Okay, because there's a reference to like leg thrombosis or an inability to get around or some kind of a withering to the legs itself. Yeah. And, and there's also a reference to a father figure, and I want to say figure that crosses. Is your grandmother's husband also passed? Yes. Way before your grandma? Um, or were they separated? Yeah, actually... It my other, yeah, I, I don't my other grandfather you. did. Okay, because there's definitely a far reference to it. And they're acknowledging the number 17 connected to you? 
The show. Um, do, you have, do you have someone? He died on the 17th. There you go. Wow. Weird. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much, Brenda. Brenda. God bless you. Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Thank right. you, Brenda. Here's. Uh, All right. So they're proud of her. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Here's uh, Colleen. Hi. Hi, yeah. Colleen. This is Robert. How are you? Thanks for calling and waiting. Thanks. I got to tell you, right as soon as I heard your voice, who has their birthday today or yesterday? Uh, or their anniversary, like this week. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure. Oh, just think for a second, because they were acknowledging birthday candles and birthday cakes. That was my grandmother yesterday. Wow. Was that, was that your, Stop it. I, I'm being told that there's a, I'm sorry, because sometimes it'll go across the room. Uh-huh. Uh, so you're telling me your grandma had their birthday yesterday? Yeah. I'm How sorry. 96. His, his, gra- his grandmother just jumped past your grandmother. I'm, <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, Colleen. <laughs> Stay I'm out. So, I'm talking. But let me continue with you. There is a reference, though, to a police officer with you. Do you know that? Oh, absolutely. All right. And I've got to tell you, I am seeing the trade center. Mm. Do you know if you have someone that was f- affected through the Trade Center directly? Kind of, yes. There has to be. And there's a reference to a policeman in the family. So either your father was a policeman or your husband's a cop. But there's definitely a reference to a cop socially and emotionally connected in your family. Do you understand? Absolutely. Who had the fire and got burned? Um, oh, my gosh, yes. Kane. There's a reference to a burning or someone gets burned in a fire or suffered a burn as a child. I... Oh, God. Okay. I just, sorry, just write it, it down. hot. And also, I'm going to tell you that there's a reference to July 4th as a specific date. Okay. Do you I understand nation. that? Yes. It's because someone either was born on, died on, or has a birthday on July 4th. The same. And they want you to know also, um, do you have children? No. Who had the two, who had the two kids back to back? Um, my sister. All right, because it's almost like what we would call Irish twins, like one yeah, behind the other. Ten months apart. In spirit, in spirit, they're telling me that they protect these children. Oh, my God. That's what I'm hearing. Okay? Thanks for calling me. All right. Bye. Thank you. Have a great night. I didn't know Bye-bye. that was called Irish Twins. Irish Twins, because basically, as soon as she gets home, right. he starts pounding her again. <laughs> He's on her again. <laughs> Ten months later. That happened to me and my wife, Katie, but, ooh, sorry. Oh. Here is, um, here's Robin. Robin, you're on uh, Ronna Fez. Hi, Robin. You're on with Robert Hansen. Everyone else, check him out on roberthansen.net. Go ahead, Robin. Hi. Hi, um, Robin. I was wondering if um, you have any connection to my mother. She died when I was three months old. Okay. Um, and I never knew her. And, were you too uh, close? I'm sorry, what? Go ahead. The, um, let me just tell you this. We don't, just in the, in the future, try not to give any information because right. it's oh. really extra special when uh, I don't, okay? But I, I will tell you this. Um, there is a reference, to, I was going to tell you, there is a reference to a female figure. Uh, that is definitely connected to you. There is also reference to the name with an M.A. beginning, like a Mark, a Matt, a Marie. Mm, can't think of it right now. It's, no, it's not a mother figure. It's connected to like a brother or a boyfriend or a husband. It's coming in off the side. No, or no. Martin or something. Okay, just stay with me on this. Like a Martin or a Marie or Martin kind of a figure. And I'm also going to tell you, connected to your family as well. If you're someone that also lost a child at infancy? Um... Yeah. Who may have had a baby die at a very early age as well? Because they show me a, a, a carriage being rocked. No, when, when you sp- I mean, there could have been. An, there I is. I, I, I want to let you know there is. And how does Pennsylvania tie into you? Mm, it's keys doesn't really. Stuff. Okay, then I have to tell you, I want you to just write it down. I may be with a different caller coming in behind you. So that's what I'm receiving for you. If it doesn't apply, I'm sorry, but that's how it works. Thank you, Robin. All right, thank okay, you. thank you. You're welcome. All right, here's uh, Dan. Dan, you're on the Fez. Hi, Dan, you're on with Robert Hansen. Hello, Robert. How are you? Hey, Dan, how are you? Great, thank you. All right, listen to me carefully because... Uh, did you hear the last caller? Yes. All right, I'm telling you, I'm getting this energy, which is really strong. Okay. Does Pennsylvania mean anything to you? Pennsylvania. Like what? a Larry Boa or, or a Scrapple? Uh, you still, but I went to uh, camp there for a year. In Pennsylvania. Wow. In Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania. All right, yeah. listen to me carefully. There's a reference to this Pennsylvania connection. Who was in the Navy in your family? The Navy. The Navy. The show, or someone that does a tremendous amount, and I mean a tremendous amount of fishing, or was or worked on cruise ships, or worked on vessels, or worked on the Brooklyn Navy Yard, or something like that. So, uh, no one that I can think of. There's a reference to Navy and American flags. Positive. Do you have people in the service in your family? My grandfather in the Army, uh, but he was a medic. He was a medic guy in the Army. How do you have the guy connected to Vietnam then? Uh, my father was a draft dodger. In the Viet- during the Vietnam period? I think so. Do you know Amazing. If dad, you know if your dad has crossed? I know that he hasn't crossed. Your dad has not crossed. No, he, he hasn't. Will. Listen to me carefully, all right, because sure. I'm sure about this. There is a reference to Pennsylvania, and, a, and this is really delicate now. There is a reference to someone that loses a child at an early age. Okay. In the family. 
like, 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 like someone had a baby a few days old and the baby dies. Oh, no, yeah, hopefully that's not the truth. My yeah. brother had twins. All right. Oh, jeez. But your brother had the twins. Where does the Paul and the Peter come in? Where does the what? Paul and Pete. With Mary. Paul <laughs> and Peter. Like my child. There's like, <laughs> like, there's like a Paul and All Peter. Right. Uh, I can think of besides an ex-girlfriend dumping me for a guy named Peter. Except for wow. a girl. Okay, thank All you right, very thank much. thank you, Dan. Uh, we're going to go to uh, Mrs. Staples, who's uh, Billy's uh, wife. How you doing, Mrs. Staples? Hi, guys. I hey. miss you. Hi, Mrs. Uh, we Staples. Miss How's everything busy? going for you? Um, good. Never better, I bet, huh? <laughs> I'm not going to say that. You know Billy that was in here earlier. They're oh, in uh, okay. one of those... Oh, trial. Uh, I got gotcha. you. Uh, I understand. Yeah, it's a trial, all right. It's been very awkward. I see. There'll be a trial. Separated. Oh, there'll be a trial. There'll yeah. be a trial. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me I'm to... I'm on your side, Mrs. Staples. Would you I like me to read you? Sorry? Would you like a reading? Yeah, sure. Okay, I... Well, this was, I guess, your husband or ex-husband or trial husband or... Yeah. There's a reference to him. And be before there was definitely a, a very, very strong reference to uh, the crossing of a father figure at a young age, and the burden of the family was placed on his shoulders. That forget, I forget about him. No, I that's what. But him. that's how they opened up the reading to me. Yeah. And I need to know: Did you have one of your grandparents live with you? Yes. Like in the upstairs or in the back room mm -hmm. or something? Yes. All right, because I'm being told that person cross is connected to you. Do you understand that? Absolutely. All right, and they're making me feel like they were very, very special to your heart. Like, oh, yes. And they're making me feel that either you at some point either wrote a poem, wrote a letter, created something like in a crafts way or something that honored them. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Who what did what you do? I, I, I write stuff for my grandfather. Okay, because it's like a poem or a poem or a song, mm -hmm. and there's something that is connected to it. Where does the Irish person come out in your family? Oh, my whole family. Are, oh, are Irish people? Oh, yeah. Are they, okay, do you know people that are from Ireland? Ireland, England, Have Wales. you ever been? Okay, you remember before two callers back I was talking about England and Europe? Uh-huh. I'm hearing it now. Okay. And there's a reference again that keeps coming up in me. Have you ever been to Ireland yourself? No, my mother just got back from England, L listen, Ireland. She, listen to me. Do you know if she brought back any earth? Yes. Because oh, I'm being told really? about, I'm being <laughs> told about soil and rocks that were brought back from that's, the other side. That's where my family. Would you know whether or not she, she, she put she it on the grave there. of your grandfather? I don't think so. Uh, Should she ask? Look, <laughs> well, they're telling me that there's they want to have their natural soil connected to them. That's how I know it occurred. Okay. You understand? And I realize a lot of people that go. My my family's from Ireland as well. My mother was born there and everything. You know, I mean, my mother's mother was born uh, in Ireland. Uh, and a lot of Irish people have the clatter rings, you know. Uh -huh. um, I'm being shown the clatter ring connected to you. Do you have one? No. Go to your mother. Does she have a clatter no. ring? Yes. No, we don't have any, any clatter rings. There, listen to me. So, um, stay with me on this. There's a reference to either a, a, a symbol, what do you call it, like a, uh, a family crest? Mm -hmm. Do you have a family crest? Oh, yes. That's it, because they're acknowledging crest. a crest or a symbol of the Irish community. And listen to me one more time on this. Who had their teeth knocked out other than <clears throat> wanting to knock someone's teeth so out? I'm not referring really to wanting to. Out. I'm referring to actually having had it done. I, well, you know, my grandfather probably had dentures. You, you, sure. know, you know if he had his teeth? No, this is actually getting knocked out, like someone no. boxed or hit them in the mouth or something. Jesus, I don't know. Belly boxes. I'm telling you. Did yeah. he box? Yes, he oh, did oh, box. Did he? Yeah. Okay, because there's yeah. reference to box, a boxer. Yeah. And listen to me carefully. Do you know if someone fell down a flight of stairs? Billy. <laughs> Billy? No, 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 no. With your grandfather. Um, well, sort of yes, but I... Because I'm being shown ambulatory issues like wheelchairs yes. or crutches and things like uh -huh. that. Uh -huh. I want you to know the reference is very, very loving connected to you. I'm not just saying this. And they're acknowledging living with you as like a father figure. And like they were privileged to stay with you as long as they did. Should she try to uh, get reconcile? back with Billy? Yeah, reconcile? Uh, I don't, I don't like spirits? to give advice like that. They just keep showing me boxing gloves, though. Do you think that she was uh, having an affair? Billy has accused her a couple times. Of how? I don't having an affair. I have to say, I don't see that. I don't either. Yet I don't believe it. Thank Yet you. he swears to it. I don't, yeah. no, I don't, I don't see that. I, I, I don't didn't wanna, even... Uh, she did call her breast the Irish twins at one point. <clears throat> well, that's because they were so far apart. <laughs> now, let me... Uh, now, didn't uh, Billy go and check your emails, Mrs. Staples? Oh, Billy checked more than my email. He snooped on her yeah. a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Billy had a little dark moment, but that's yeah. okay. He's better now? Yes, much. Much and better. Can I ask you, who has the tattoo? I oh want boy. a tattoo. But you want it? No, but this oh, is... Oh, my a, grandfather. Yeah, because I'm being told about a tattoo that's connected to the person that passes. My grandfather had a tattoo. That's it. And um, also, who had the amputation of the toe? 
not the toe. Or the, or the leg. Not, not the leg. There's an amputation here. The finger. My uncle has <laughs> is missing the finger. He's missing a because oh, they're showing it me a digit. Because me they're telling me sure. about uh, an amputation connection. And one more thing, there was also a reference to someone that had an injury to one eye. Like they had an injury. Davis Jr. No, 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 no. They had an no, injury. That's true. Well, they had cornea transplant, or they had a, a surgical. My tra- mother has has yes. You now understand, family. You understand yes, that? That's right. My you understand mother. that? And last thing, the connected to your grandfather, there's a reference to a green light with a DNR base. And what? He drives. Do not resuscitate. Do you know if they um, grand, you know if they signed a do not resuscitate for your yeah, grandfather? Yeah, actually, yeah, kind of, yeah. Because they're telling me that he was he's telling me that he his, went very quick. That his energy was disconnected or they mm-hmm. were not going to keep him on life support. Mm-hmm, absolutely. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay, that's Both what Both grandfathers. There yes. you go. Wow, they're All a right. mess. Thank you very much, Mrs. Staples. We'll take uh, one more call. Where can people, if they, they want to contact you or go to see you? Uh, if you want to see Robert Hansen in East Hampton at the John Drew Theater at Guild Hall, you can call for ticket information, 516-868-7778. Or go online, roberthanson.net. Thank you. Here is, uh, we'll take one uh, last person. Here's Lisa. Lisa, you're on our run of Thank you so much for taking me, guys. Okay. Hi, Lisa. It's Rob. Hi, Rob. How are you? Hoping you can make a connection for Well, me. I'll do my best for you. Uh, I'm being pulled to my wedding band right out of the gate when I talk with you. Okay. And I got to tell you something. Either you have a girlfriend that's very close to you or a sister figure that is close to you that has lost a husband figure. Yes. Do you understand that? I do. Okay, because I'm being told about a man that crosses at a young age, and it's a sudden or an unexpected passing. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Where is the artist in your family? They're showing me easels and paintbrushes. Do you know if someone did like a, like a rendition or a painting of this guy or did a memorial for him? No, I do not. Okay. I want you to know that there's a reference to a memorial connected to the man. In your case also, there's a reference to a police badge. Well, where, where are the police officers in your family? My husband's side. There you go. And do you know if your husband's dad has passed? Has not. There's a father figure that's coming through to me here. Okay. Has your dad passed? No. Okay. I got to tell you, there's an adult male father figure that connects in this reading through the man on the police officer's side that's definitely connected. Okay. And where does the G sound come through for you? G. Yes. Mm. Girl. Don't know G. Front. No, I'm I'm sure about it. G back. Okay, I got to stay with you on this because I'm positive That's what nice. I'm getting. Okay. And there's a, I have to go back to the. One of your girlfriends lost her husband. Yes. Do you know if it was connected? I hate to keep bringing up the trade center, but it feels like there was a link to it. Yes. You understand that? Absolutely. Like either they were a stockbroker or because they keep showing me cops in my head, which of course there were so many wonderful patrolmen, firemen. We all know about the great heroes that were at the trade center that day. You know, I keep seeing it. Yes. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay, I have to, we're kind of coming to the end of the hour. I do want you to know, your girlfriend, please let her know that her husband is attempting to come through for me on the reading to let me know that he has crossed over safely and that he was guided by others like himself. I'm not sure what that means. Do you know if he was in a stockbroker's business or something? Yes. Okay, do you know if he was with Cancer Fitzgerald or one of those companies? Yes. Okay, I, I'm leaving you with that because that's what I'm seeing. And there's one more thing. They're acknowledging the number 27 with you. 27th. The 27th of a month. Like a 2-7, like February 7th or the 27th. That's the day my grandmother died. There you go. Congratulations. All right. Have a great night. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Talking to me. Thank you. You're very welcome. Robert Hansen, thank you very much for it's being here. It's been an honor tonight. to be here, guys. It's a lot of fun being here. I All right. Well, we'll have you back sometime. You guys Ron. are great. Thank yeah. you so much. Yes, fellas. we are. Thank you. Ron and Pat, 1027 WMEW.